Hello everyone, and welcome to F is for Fun, where we play alphabet games together. Today's alphabet game is we're going to be matching the uppercase letter with the lowercase letter. And an uppercase letter is known as our capital letters, and they look like this. And we are going to be using this picture right here, and we're going to be finding the lowercase letter that matches our capital letter. So let's get started with A. And as you might notice, that this picture here is a little bit jumbled up. So we're going to have to search for the lowercase letter. So this is an uppercase A, making an A ah sound. And where is our lowercase A? There it is. Yes, that's our lowercase A. The next letter is B, our uppercase B, making a B sound. So we have to find the lowercase B. And it kind of looks just like that, taking off the first bump on the B. And there it is, yes. The next is our uppercase C, making a K sound. And this one looks exactly like our uppercase C, but just a bit smaller. And there it is. Next, we have D, making a D sound. And the D, is looks kind of like a B, just a little bit backwards. So, can you find it? Yes, there it is! The next letter is an E, making an E sound. And this one doesn't look a lot like the uppercase E. It looks just like, there it is, yes, that's the lowercase E. Next, we have an F, making a F sound. And that looks kind of similar to an uppercase F, only the top of it is curved instead of straight. And there it is, yes. The next is our G, making a G sound. And this looks a little bit nothing like the capital G. It is right there. Yes, that is what a lowercase g looks like. The next is our H, making a H huh sound, and that doesn't look like the uppercase letter either, and it, it goes like that, with a little bump, and there it is. The next is our I, and how I remember the lowercase I is it has a dot on top of it, but it is a bit confusing because there's two lowercase letters with the dot on top of it. but an, lowercase i just is one line and there it is and then perfectly next is our j and it looks quite similar to the lowercase j and it also has a dot on the top and there it is our next letter is a k making a k sound and it looks exactly like our uppercase k making it very easy to find and there it is the next letter is our L, making a L sound. And this one just looks like you took off the line right there, and there it is. The next is our M, making a M sound. And it kind of looks very similar to the uppercase M, but just a bit smaller, and it has two, two humps, just like that. Then we have our uppercase N making a N sound. And this one just looks kind of similar to the M, but just has one hump right there. And then we have our uppercase O making a O oh sound. And this one looks exactly like our uppercase O, just a bit smaller. And there it is. The next is our P. And our P making a P sound looks quite similar to our uppercase P. And there it is. And then we have our Q making a Q sound. And this one's a bit confusing because they look nothing alike. And let's find our lowercase Q because there it is. Looks kind of like a backwards P. And next we have our R making a R sound. And this one is right there, and it doesn't look very similar. 
and it's a line and a little hump. There it is. Next, we have our S making a S sound, and it looks exactly like our uppercase S, just a tiny bit smaller. And next, we have our T making a T sound, and it looks like a line with a cross in it right there. And then we have our U, and our U looks exactly like our big U, just a bit smaller, making a uh sound. And then we have our V, which is also easy to find because it looks exactly like our capital V, just a little bit smaller. And there it is. Then we have our W, making a W sound. And that looks quite similar to our big W. And there it is. And then we have our X, making a K sound. And it looks the exact same, making it easy to find. And then we have our Y. And this one sometimes looks the same and sometimes looks different. And there it is. It's got a bit of a curve on the bottom, making a Y sound. And then last but not least, we have our Z. And Z making a Z sound looks exactly like our capital Z. And there it is. I hope you learned how to match your capital letters with your lowercase letters. Tune in next time. Bye!